Hi and welcome to Yoga with Sina. I'm Sina and today I invite you to join me for a short seated um, yoga sequence that's perfect um, to do right, right after you wake up in the morning or whenever you want to slow down things during the day or just as a closure at night. So go ahead and come into a comfortable seat. You're more than welcome to fold up a blanket and maybe just push it underneath your hips so that you can sit on it like a little wedge which will allow you to sit up a little bit um, easier without putting too much strain into coming, into bringing your spine into an upright position. So whenever you are ready, go ahead and find the most comfortable um, position in your seated asana, in your seated pose. And when um, you feel that you're sitting upright with your head aligned over your heart and your heart aligned over your pelvis. So everything is like in one straight line. You can go ahead and close your eyes. And then as we close our eyes, we're allowing the other senses to tune up a little bit and to take over as we shut out the sensory input through our vision. We're and allowing the other senses to take over and we're also withdrawing a little bit from the outside world so that we can connect to our world of feelings and sensations. So I invite you to stay here for about five or six breaths. As you breathe in through your nose, see if you can sit up a little taller and as you exhale out of your nose, drop your shoulders, relax your face, find that grounding sensation, inhaling, you're growing a little taller, almost as if somebody was pulling the crown of your head upward. And as you exhale, grounding, but keeping the straightness in your spine. Take another full inhale here. And exhaling it all out, you may want to open your mouth and ah, just sigh it all out. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed and just follow my voice as I guide you through this practice. And if you feel like having a look at the video maybe, just blink your eyes open slowly. And from here we'll begin with just finding a little bit of a stretch through the neck. So keeping the shoulders parallel to the floor, we're dropping the right ear down to the right shoulder. And we're just gonna notice how that feels in the left side of the neck. You may want to look up, pick your chin up a little bit, and just be aware of the change of sensation, the change of how it feels in your body as you lift your chin a little higher. Take another breath here. And on your exhale, dropping the chin down, shoulders are still parallel to the floor and you're turning your nose closer towards your right armpit. And again, notice, just be aware of the sensation in your neck, in the side of your throat. Great, bringing the nose back, facing forward, looking straight ahead, inhaling, lifting the head back up towards center. Now we're gonna do that to the other side, dropping the left ear to the left shoulder. Just stay here for a moment, be curious, bring curiosity into this practice as you're exploring and observing how the different poses and movements feel in your body. Now see if you want to tilt your chin up a little bit, picking up the gaze, nose is turning towards the ceiling. Breathe here, shoulders are still relaxed, the breath stays even. On your exhale, tilting your nose all the way down, bringing the nose a little closer to the left armpit. That's it, breath is natural here, in and out of the nose. And inhale, head turns parallel and we lift it all the way back up to its neutral position. Now from here I invite you to just 
Find a little bit of a sway right and left. You could even go ahead and bring the fingertips down to the floor and push your rib cage just a little bit side to side here, finding that first movement if you're doing this practice in the morning. Usually when we sleep in the night, we get our spine gets a little bit stiff. So all these movements to bring a little bit of movement and flexibility back into our spine feels great. Even if you do it throughout the day or at night, a little bit of spinal movement is always super yummy for me. Okay, maybe you want to add some rounding movements here too. You can bring the hands back to the knees, making these circular movements as big or as small as you want. It's your practice you're in charge, you're in control, reversing to the other side. Maybe another round here. That's it. And then coming back to center again, finding that alignment again, that really nice tall line through your spine with the tailbone grounding down and then with the crown of your head reaching upward. Now from here, take your right fingertips down to the floor and then see if you can take the left fingertips and reach them past your left ear. As you tilt a little bit over to the right side, you can plant your right palm down here and then engage, bring energy into your left fingertips as you reach them further and further over to the right side while you're trying to push your left knee and your left hip down into the floor. Now your neck can stay completely relaxed here or you could add a few gentle movements. Just be present with what your body is asking you right now. That's it. Take another deep inhale here. You might want to add a little roll to your left wrist in both directions. That's it. And then on your inhale, drawing the belly to the spine, push into your right hand, come all the way up into your seat, lifting the right arm up as well. And this time as we turn to the right side, we're adding a little bit of a twist to the spine. So turning to your right side, try to push your right hip bone forward. So try not to turn your whole body to the side, keep the lower body completely straight forward and see if you can isolate this twist into the upper spine, releasing the left hand to the right knee as your right fingertips drop behind your back. That's it. Now once you have the hand on the knee and on the floor, see if you can inhale and straighten out that spine again, that upward current energy as you exhale, turning towards the right side, a little bit more, twisting a little deeper, keeping gentle awareness around your navel and keep pushing that right hip forward. That's it. Inhaling, finding length. Exhaling, see if you can twist a little deeper. One more inhale here, finding the length. A little bit of positional force between the hand and the right knee. And exhale, twisting. Inhale, slowly coming back through center. Awesome, let's do the other side. Left fingertips come down to the floor. We inhale, the right hand reaches past the right ear as we bend into the left elbow. All the way we reach over to the left side. Energetically, our fingertips are really pulling up and away diagonally to the left. You can plant your left hand down here. Remember, right hip stays heavy and we're trying to find that lateral stretch. Now, careful here that you don't drop forward. It's not about how deep you can stretch. It's rather keeping your body open, turning your right shoulder a little bit more back and finding that space in the front body. Now, your neck is relaxed here. Go ahead and just put a smile on your lips. Maybe if it's in the morning, maybe it's the first smile that you actively and with purpose and with awareness give yourself. Adding a little movement to the right wrist here. That's it. 
One last deep round of breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, pushing into the left hand and awareness to the navel, bringing both arms up overhead again. And we're gonna go into that twisting sensation to the left this time. So keeping the hips face forward as you turn your upper torso to the left, connecting right hand to the left knee, left fingertips come down behind you to the ground, inhaling, left hip crease pushes forward. We sit up a little bit taller here. And on your exhale, we're twisting, trying to isolate that twist again into your thoracic spine. So the upper part of your spine, keeping the lower body, the lower part of your spine straight forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And one more time, inhale, finding that length, oppositional force between the hand and the knee, left hip crease pushes forward. And on your next inhale, coming back through center. And then just go ahead and shake your hands out. Maybe shake your shoulders. And notice how those few little movements have already generated a little bit more energy in your body. So I hope you're ready for your day or ready for whatever next um, is on your schedule. And maybe you're ready for another practice. Maybe you want to do another video or just simply get into bed and have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Of course, you're most welcome. If you have a little bit more time to just stay in this posture with the hands on your knees, relaxing the shoulders, closing your eyes and letting that practice settle into your body for a few more moments. Please stay here as long as your timetable, your schedule allows you to. And if you're finished with the session for today, I thank you very much and I hope to see you again soon on your mat. Namaste from Tokyo. Take care. Bye bye.